What is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. We've got a pretty fun one planned for today and let me just show you what it is. We're gonna wash the Corvette real quick. We're gonna wash the engine bay, which we haven't done since we got it. Um, and we are taking it to CarMax to see what they offer me for the Corvette. I've seen a lot of people do videos like this, so I figured why not see what they offer me. So let's get with it. We're gonna wash it real quick. Alright guys, so I'm not completely proud of that wash, it was literally just a rinse down, but whatever, we got the engine bay more clean, which is all I really cared about. Uh, CarMax is going to detail the car if they buy it anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. We're going to run to O'Reilly's and drop off the tool I rented, and then head to Dothan. He's out of line, but he's right. <laughs> <laughs> Whose car is dirtier? That's that's the real question. That's the stupid cats we have, dude. dude I... The first time it jumped all on my car, I was like, Ugh! I do that every time, but she doesn't care. He, well, bam, we're here at CarMax. I'm always awkward recording inside, so we're going to shut the camera off, go talk to some people, get like a $5,000 offer on the car, and then leave. <laughs> so. Hey, maybe it's, maybe it's 10. Yeah. It's got maybe. a supercharger. All right, guys, so... The guy's on his way out here. Gonna yeah, check out the car. We just did all the paperwork and we'll see what they offer. Seems like pretty good uh, opportunity, so we'll see. That's where you make your money at. Alright, peeps. Here we go. <laughs> so I can't say I'm surprised. I'm really not surprised, but I was hoping for more. So Carvana, I looked at selling it on there just for fun and they just look by the VIN number and that's it. They don't care. They just look by a VIN number and whatever you say is wrong with the car. They gave me like a $21,000 offer and then I checked again like a couple weeks later and they dropped it because I had already gotten an offer from them. Um, so we just chilled at CarMax for 45 minutes, yeah. did a appraisal and they actually have people that like review it and look at it and I was told that CarMax will like value in like Lingenfelter packages like aftermarket stuff and like actually you know value it in and it's bad it's, <laughs> it's honestly pretty bad bah, bah, bah. not even close people i mean private sale i can get what i'm into it like that is yeah. horrible if it was gonna be like 24 25 i would have taken it but homies come on guys come on that's terrible like i i i hope for better but i expected it i would have expected that for like this yeah honestly but not, not the and, Corvette with fifty thousand miles on it. Yeah, like fifty thousand miles. Their checks came up, not a single issue. Like even, where is it here? Like over here, we've got some paint chips and stuff. Like, you know, little cosmetic things. They didn't even mention that. Like yeah. they're like everything is a hundred percent perfect on this car. And I was like, and I even told them the AC doesn't work. And in their little appraisal, they said the AC worked. Yeah, I, I saw did, it said I did okay. See that. And I'm like, mm, okay. And even if it was like 100% perfect, like they claimed, they still only offered 90. So we're gonna go get some food and uh, drown our sorrows in. Oh, I'm fine. <laughs> drown my sorrow. No, I'm, I'm kidding. No, I'm good. It kind of it does really suck though, because well, I don't I don't want to sell this car. I love this car. I don't want to, but I need to, and that's the problem because I've got other builds that are waiting, and so this car has to sell. So yeah, that's the frustrating part is I just wanted to go to a good owner. I just need it gone. So if anybody wants to buy a 2006 Supercharged uh, Corvette, I know the guy. Clean, apparently five owners could have counted me twice and it counted another owner twice. So clean, 
three owner car, uh, never abused, never burned out, never raced, never anything. Ever. Clean one, clean three owner. <laughs> All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this short video. Um, yeah, it was just yeah fun to make. But, I mean, it's it's good. I guess it's good to see you that you can get more private sale because yeah. I know you were trying to get something from dealership to just get rid of it but I think but, it's going to be worth a wait to just with the way privately with the way the market is right now I've seen LS2 cars with more miles go for 25 26 grand bone stock yeah so I know it I, I'll get more private sale but if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to stay hungry stay humble stay motivated and we'll see you in the next one bye all right guys so we got a little update on the Miata title me and John just went and tried to register it together and uh we are unable to register the Miata because what happened is the previous owner bought the car and never registered it to himself. So the guy before him signed the title over to the previous owner. Previous owner signed the title over to us, but he had never registered it to himself. And so in the state of Florida, the title has to be, the, the car has to be titled to everybody it's changed hands through. And so you can't skip ownership like you can in Utah. Um, yeah, so we are unable to register Miata until the kid answers me and we set up a time for uh, him to come title the car in his name and then sign it over to us. And yeah, it's gonna be really, really annoying if he doesn't, but we're gonna, we're gonna get him to because I wanna start driving this car. So just wanna give you guys a little update. Uh, this happened after what you just saw of us going to CarMax and all that with the Corvette. But yeah.